This 2,000-year-old tomb painting predicted exactly what you'll see in the sky tonight, and it's still 100% accurate. In 1987, archaeologists discovered something impossible in a Chinese tomb from 25 BC, a star map painted on the ceiling that matches our modern sky charts perfectly. How did ancient people, with no telescopes or computers, create maps so accurate we still use them today? The answer lies in humanity's oldest navigation system, the constellations. Ancient astronomers imagined Earth sitting inside a giant spinning ball covered in stars, the celestial sphere. They were completely wrong about how it works, but completely right about what they saw. The truth, we're the ones spinning. Earth rotates once every 24 hours, making the stars appear to dance around us in perfect circles. In the Northern Hemisphere, every star seems to revolve around one special star, Polaris, the North Star. But here's what will blow your mind. Polaris won't be the pole star forever. In 14,000 years, the brilliant star Vega will take its place. Earth wobbles like a spinning top, taking 26,000 years to complete one wobble. This means our descendants will have a completely different North Star. Ever wonder why different constellations appear at different times of year? It's because Earth is on a cosmic journey around the Sun. Stars hiding behind the Sun in summer become visible in winter when Earth moves to the opposite side of its orbit. This cosmic dance gives us a different sky show every season, nature's own calendar written in stars. The zodiac isn't just astrology, it's astronomy. These 12 constellations mark the sun's path through the sky during the year. From March 21st, the sun appears in front of Aries. By April 21st, it's moved to Taurus. But here's the twist. The astrological dates are completely different from the astronomical ones. Astrology froze the sky 2,000 years ago, but the stars kept moving. Some stars in our constellations are hiding incredible secrets. Take Betelgeuse in Orion. It's 400 times bigger than our sun. If Betelgeuse replaced our sun, its surface would reach beyond Mars. We'd be orbiting inside a star. And it's dying. Betelgeuse could explode as a supernova any day or in the next 100,000 years. When it does, it'll be visible during the day. For thousands of years, these star patterns were humanity's GPS. Sailors crossed oceans by following the Big Dipper to Polaris. The Southern Cross guided explorers across the Southern Seas. Aboriginal Australians used the emu in the sky, a dark nebula they saw as a giant bird. 